Hello, baseball fans and Stratomatic baseball fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, as you can tell from the title of the video, I have another Atlantic League game for you. Again, to recap, the Atlantic League is a Stratomatic baseball computer league that is based on the 1994 uh, teams, statistics league, and uh, every team has a few franchise players added to the 94 team. For instance, our Chicago White Sox have um, Belton Bill Melton added. We have Carlton Fisk added to the team. So we have a few players from across the decades. I think Aaron Bummer is on the team, too. Um, so we have players from across the decades on the 94 team, but the base team is the 94 team. And so as you can see, here are the standings so far. Um, we are in third place in the Central Division of the American League with a record of 56 and 55, just over 500, but eight games back of Cleveland and uh, something like uh, six and a half back of Kansas City, so um, or five and a half or something like that. Uh, my math is terrible. But we are well ahead of Minnesota and Milwaukee. So um, we're going to have another game coming up, but uh, first let's take a look at our statistics so far because I don't think I've done that that much with this team. Uh, here's the team page, the team statistic page. Overall, we are 56 and 55, as, you, as I just said. We're 28 and 25 at home, but we are 28 and 30 on the road. Um, we are 4 and 7 in extra inning games. We're 14 and 19 in one run games. And in our last 10, we've been doing pretty well. We're 7 and 3. So we'll take a look at the primary statistics. Uh, there they are. I mean, you can take a look at them. Um, you got Big Frank Thomas hitting 328 with 38 jacks and 97 RBIs. Um, you know, Bill, Belton Bill Melton hitting 279 with 16 home runs himself and 172 at bats, which is really a great ratio. It's a crazy good ratio. Um, so there's the batting. And then down here, you can see our man Aaron Bummer with the 257. Earned run average and a three and one record out of the bullpen in 21 innings. Austin Mocker with a 214 earned run average in the same number of innings, 21. Uh, Wilbur Wood, 301 earned run average in 77 innings pitched. Then you got McDowell. He has a six and ten record, but a 372 earned run average. Wilson Alvarez is, Rez is uh, 14 and seven with a 398 earned run average. And then you got some guys that are really terrible. Dotson, terrible. So um, I am actually, and Sanderson was terrible, so I brought up Hibbard. Now Hibbard doesn't have a good card, but, you know, none of those two guys were doing, doing the job. So we're going to see if Hibbard can do it. So anyway, um, that'll bring us to today's game against Oakland, I believe. And we will uh, play the day. Chicago at Oakland. And you can see um, we, let's see, they're going to have Darling going up against us. We're going to have Alex Fernandez on the mound. Our lineup is going to be Tim Raines, Joey Cora, Frank Thomas at first base, Newson will be the DH, Darren Jackson in right, Robin High Ventura at third, Lavalier at catcher, Ozzy Guillen at short, and Lance Johnson in center field. For the A's, they are going to go with uh, Baroa in right field leading off, then Mike Bordick at shortstop, Jose Canseco at l in left field batting third, Dave Kingman is the DH, Mike Mark McGuire at first base batting fifth, Terry Steinbach will be the catcher batting sixth, uh, Dwayne Murphy will be in center. Uh, Dwayne Murphy, probably their outside guy from uh, because he did not play in 94. Uh, Dick Green at third base, um, probably is another guy from outside that did not play then. And then uh, Brent Gates, possibly at second base, with Darling on the mound. So with that, let's get on with the game. And uh, you can see Darling's out there. We got Timmy Raines ready to go. So we're playing here in the Coliseum. 
and uh, that's going to be a walk. Oh, wait a minute, that, is that the Coliseum? No, this is. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's well. Oakland is home. I don't know where this is. I don't know if this is the Coliseum or not, but it doesn't really look like it, though, does it? Well, anyway, um, Joey Cora is up with Reigns at first. I'm gonna I'm gonna explore the idea of stealing a base. And uh, no, <laughs> they whittled him all the way down to five percent. We're not gonna do that. But Cora walks. They got the same roll two times in a row. So you got Frank Thomas. You're not gonna sacrifice or do any tricks with Frank Thomas. And he's going to hit a deep fly ball that will move both runners up from first and second to second and third. And now we're going to have runners at second and third with only one out. And Warren Newsom up. And he's going to single in at least one run. And I am going to send the lead runner. And it does get both runs in, so we're ahead 2 nothing, just like that. And Darren Jackson up. And Darren Jackson is going to hit a double. And Newsom cannot run, so I'm going to guess Newsom does not score on this. Uh, no, 45%. We're not going to do that with only one out. And then uh, Ventura is up, and he is going to pop out to shortstop for the second out of the first inning. So just like that, we got two down, and runners at second and third. We need a clutch hit here by Lavalier, and he's going to strike out instead. So we're going to the bottom of the first. Let's see if our man uh, Fernandez can hold this lead. Apparently he has no intention of doing that. He allows a single to Baroa to lead it off. Um, Mike Bordick is up. They try to get a lead with Baroa, and they don't. And then uh, there's going to be a catcher card X for Lavalier. And uh, that is one down with Canseco up at the plate. And he is going to ground out first base and move Baroa to second. And now Dave Kingman is the batter. And Dave Kingman's going to hit a single. Let's see if Baroa can score on this. I'm going to try to gun him out at the plate. And it works. And so they get no runs in the first inning. Uh, Baroa was thrown out at the plate on a single by Dave Kingman, and we're going to the second inning with Ozzie Guillen, the shortstop, and he is going to hit a ground ball out to short to his counterpart, Bordick, and he's done. Lance Johnson is up, and Lance Johnson's going to rip a base hit. So we're all over Darling here pretty quickly. Um, Reigns batting, but he strikes out. So there's going to be two down with a man at first, and Joey Cora is up, and he is going to line out. So we come away with nothing there, but we do maintain the 2-0 lead going into the bottom of the first, and Mark McGuire is going to line out. So he's out. Steinbach is up, their catcher, and their catcher, Steinbach, is going to go deep off of Fernandez. And make the score two to one. So it is two one with Dwayne Murphy, the batter, and he is going to fly out to left. Hopefully, Reigns is coming in, closing in on it, and uh, he does. So Dick Green is the batter with two down in the second, and that's going to be a strikeout. So, Big Frank is up. It's 2-1, to one, top of the third inning. Frank, come on, man. We needed him to get us started, and he didn't. He's going to fly out to Conseco in left. Newsom is the batter. Newsom is going to hit a ground ball to Dick Green. Usually a second baseman, Green is, but today he's playing third, and he makes the play, and Darren Jackson is the batter, and he's going to strike out. So we uh, are going to, well, he will strike out, and he does. And we're going to the bottom of the third, ahead 2-1 to one for right now, and that is Brent Gates, and he is going to fly out to center. One down, 
And Baroa, who got on last time with a single, he's going to strike out this time. So Fernandez is pitching pretty good here. Bordick is up, and Bordick is going to hit a ground ball out to Guillen. I expect Guillen to make that play, and he does. So we're back up here in the top of the fourth with Ventura up. And that is going to be a catcher card. And he's out. Lavalier is up. Lavalier is going to fly out to center. So there's two down quickly here in the fourth for us. And uh, Guillen up. And he is going to ground out to Brent Gates at second base. And that takes us to the bottom of the fourth inning. Canseco is the batter, and he's going to strike out. Fernandez gets him. And that brings up Dave Kingman. Dave Kingman with a single. So Dave Kingman, he's two for two today. Well, that's going to be a foul ball. And that's a single right up the middle. Mark McGuire is the batter, and he's going to fly out to center. So there's going to be two down with, a, with Kingman at first. At least Kingman is a rock at first, and it's hard to move him along. Steinbach up, and he homered last time, but he strikes out this time. And we maintain our 2-1 lead going to the top of the fifth with Lance Johnson up. I'd like to see us get a couple more runs here. Some kind of insurance to ensure that we can uh, take this victory home to the fans. A walk for Tim Raines. So we'll try it again. We'll try to see if he can steal again. And no, he can't. And Joey Core is up with one down. And that is going to be a line out. Line out to right field. So two down quickly and Frank Thomas, the big hurt. The big hurt walks. We got two aboard with two down and Newson up and Newson's going to strike out. So we're going to the bottom of the fifth. Luckily for us, Fernandez is on top of his game today. He strikes out Dwayne Murphy. who again is one of their franchise players that was brought in. Dick Green is another one, and he's going to hit a ground ball and for the second out here in the fifth. And Brent Gates is up, and he's going to strike out. Now Brent Gates probably was on the A's, actually, in 1994. We're going to the sixth inning with Darren Jackson up, and he is singling. Single right up the middle for Darren Jackson. And Robin High Ventura is going to hit into a double play. Thank you, Robin Ventura. So there's two down, nobody on, and Lavalier up. And Lavalier is going to be hit by pitch and possible injury here. And he shakes it off. He can continue in the game. Good. He's a gamer. And that's going to be a ground ball C by Guillen. So we don't get any more. This is a tight game. As uh, Red Barber would say, this is tighter than a new pair of shoes on a rainy day. So you've got uh, Geronimo Barroa, and he's going to fly out leading off the uh, Oakland 6th. Flies out to Johnson. Bordick is the batter, and Bordick is going to hit a ground ball out to third base that Ventura is going to play. And Canseco is up. And Canseco is going to line out. So that is an out, and we're going to the top of the seventh. We're in the we're in the home stretch here. Lance Johnson is the batter, but he's going to hit a ground ball out to Green at third base. That Green is going to play over to first for the first out of the seventh inning. Reigns is up. Reigns is singling. This guy has been on base a lot, but he can't seem to get a lead and steal a base and help us out. So Cora is just going to bat. 
He's going to hit a fly ball, though, and that's going to be the second out of the seventh for us. Reigns at first base. Two down, and Frank Thomas up. We could use a homer, but Frank Thomas decides, no, we're just going to go with a ground ball and see if Fernandez can keep pitching like he has. And believe me, until he gets tired, he's going to stay out there. We have very little bullpen pitching on this team. That's good, that's good, and Kingman is the leadoff batter. And Kingman is going to hit a ground ball to third. This has really been easy as pie for Fernandez. I have not seen him pitch like this this season for us. McGuire is the batter with one down, and he is going to hit. Um, there's a catcher card X here, and that is going to be an out, and Steinbach is the batter, and Steinbach flies out. He is responsible for their only A's run as he hit a solo home run. But they are still losing 2-1. to one. We go to the 8th, and even Darling is still out there. Both starting pitchers are, for right now, still in the game, and Newsom strikes out. And why not? They're probably not tired. They haven't had any high-leverage innings, really. Darren Jackson with a single. So he's aboard with one down and Ventura, the batter. Ventura, though, strikes out. So there's two down. With Jackson aboard and Lavalier up, and Lavalier is going to hit a single. So I got to take a look at who's up. Guillen is up. We got to let him hit because he's our he's a good defensive shortstop. We can't take him out for a pinch hitter, and he's going to fly out. We're going to the bottom of the eighth. Got to hope Fernandez can hang in there. Dwayne Murphy is the leadoff man, and he is going to pop out to second. See, a lot of pitches, or a lot of uh, a lot of batters' results have gone on the pitcher's card, so that's also helping. Dick Green is up, but even when it... Oh, they're going to pinch hit Ricky Henderson, and Ricky Henderson's going to rip a single. So that's the first sign of life that they've had. And he can steal, but... He's being watched. Let's see if what happens with that. And he drops to 40%. They won't try it with him. And on a single 1 to 15, they get a pop out. So Gates is out. There is two down. But a home run by Baroa. Are you kidding me? Come on, Fernandez. <laughs> so now the whole game we were leading, and we're not. All of a sudden here in the bottom of the eighth. And Bordick is the batter. And Bordick is going to hit a ground ball to second base. But now we've got to have at least one run to keep this game going. Lance Johnson, I'm going to let him hit. And he is going to reward us with a single. Let's see if they take out Darling. They will not take out Darling, apparently. And um, uh, Tim Raines is going to hit a ground ball out to Brent Gates. Let's see if they can get it. I mean, they can. It's an E4 by Gates. So we've got Cora up. I am going to sacrifice with Cora. And wait, looks like they're bringing in Dave Leeper. So Leeper comes in to pitch. I'm going to sacrifice Bunt with Cora. He's got an 86% chance of pulling that off. And he does. So now runners are at second and third. Let's see if they walk Thomas. I expect them to, and they do. And so um, Newsom is up, and he's going to strike out. I probably should have pinch hit for Newsom. So there's two down quickly. Darren Jackson's up. He's three for four. You can't really take that out of the game. He hits the ball out to Hammond at third base, and that's going to be an E5 that ties the game. Now it's a brand-new ball game. We're all tied up, and Ventura's up. And he's going to be out. But I have to put in a new pitcher. I am going to go get a new pitcher. So we're going to go get Bummer. I mean, Bummer has actually been pretty good this year. And we're going to see what he can do against Canseco. And he doesn't do much because Canseco hits a double. No, no, he doesn't. Ventura makes the play. That looked like a double to me. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. But Kingman's up, one down, I'll take it. Ground ball C, and that's an out. So there's two down quickly, and Mark McGuire is the batter, and he's going to strike out. So Bummer does his job. I'm going to try to extend him another inning. But we're going to the bottom of the 10th here with Lavalier up. And Lavalier is going to line out. Are you kidding me? A single one to 16, and he gets a 20. 
Gian is the batter. Gian is going to fly out. Or, yes, fly out to left. Canseco making the play. And Lance Johnson is the batter, and he is going to fly out to right. Um, so Leeper has pitched two innings, or one plus, and uh, here we have Bummer in his second inning. He allows a ground ball to Ventura, but he's a two. Let's see if he makes the play, and he does. One down, Dwayne Murphy at the bat, and he's going to strike out. It's, it's a bummer that I'm going to have to take Bummer out after this, but he gets a line out. Heyman strike, er, lines out. He made a key error back in the ninth inning that allowed us to tie the game. They bring in Mark Aker to face um, Reigns. Reigns is going to get a board. Now let's see what we can do with Reigns. Maybe he can steal now. Let's let him try that. And he does make it. And he, yeah, well, he makes it to second. I thought maybe he would get over to third with that second pick. But anyway, now we are going to sacrifice with Cora again. Cora probably not happy about the fact that I've called on him twice to sacrifice. But he gets the job done. A man is 90 feet away with Thomas up, and they're going to pitch to Thomas, and he strikes out. So that was key. There's two down with a man 90 feet away now. And is Noose in the next batter? He is. I'm going to pinch hit for him, Let me. I think. No, no, with that card, actually, I will let him hit. But he lines out. So we're going to have to take Bummer out. I'm going to go out and take Bummer out of the game. Um, I mean, we don't probably have to, but I am still going to do it. And we're going to bring in Wilbur Wood because we don't know how long this bad boy is going to go. So Wilbur Wood comes into the game to face Brent Gates, and he strikes him out. So you're getting extra baseball here. You're getting a really exciting game. Baroa is up with us, only five, only one game over 500. And Baroa is going to hit the ball out to Darren Jackson. He is a good fielder, uh, but it falls in front of him. So he is a board. Baroa is a board with Bordick up. And Bordick's going to walk. So the first two guys are on. Wood is falling apart here right before our eyes. But he gets us. He does strike out Canseco, which is great. If Oakland scores, that's it. And that is going to be a line out by Kingman. So we're going to the uh, 12th inning. Jackson up. And Jackson is going to single off Aker. Got to wonder about the Oakland bullpen. Do they have the depth out there? To take us down. That's going to be a foul out though to first base for Ventura. So there's one down with Jackson aboard. And Lavalier up. And Lavalier is going to walk. So now let's see who's up. Guillen again. Guillen. You cannot take Guillen out of the game. And you don't want to because Guillen is going to hit a single double asterisk. Probably because he doesn't have the power to hit a home run. But he does knock in the go-ahead run, and there's a guy 90 feet away, and we're at the top of the lineup, and they are going to the bullpen, and they bring in Miguel Jimenez. And that is going to be a fly ball, center field with a question, but Lavalier is a runner, so the question is probably going to be he's going to stay. Yes, he is going to stay at third base. And so Tim Raines is up with two down. We're hoping for another big hit, but he doesn't get one. Now the question is, do I have a closer or do I want to stick with Wood? I could certainly stick with Wood. Let me take a look at that bullpen. Uh, you know what? I'm going to stick with uh, Wilbur Wood. He's going to pitch to Mark McGuire and strike him out. So there's one down quickly here in the 12th. Steinbach up. He hit a home run earlier, but this time he's going to hit the ball out to Cora. Does Cora make the play? He does. There's two down, and Dwayne Murphy is going to be pinch hit for by Troy Neal. That looks like Mike Piazza, though, but it is Troy Neal. <laughs> so that is a ground ball to second base. And that is the out, and we have won the game. We won a squeaker here, 4-3. And let's take a look at the uh, box score. 
Reigns was one for four. Jackson was four for six. Lance Johnson was two for six. And uh, for them, they had Baroa at three for five. Had a, he had a good day. Fernandez went eight. He allowed three earned runs, pitched really well. Bummer came in, pitched two scoreless. And then Wood came in for the win and got his seventh win of this season. He is now 7-1 and one on the year. And uh, for them, Darling went eight and allowed two earned runs. Leiper went, Leeper went two and allowed nothing. And then Aker went one and a third and allowed the winning run to score and got the loss. And so if we take a look at the standings now, you can see we have gotten closer. We're seven and a half games, seven and a half back as opposed to eight. And we're two games over 500. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.